There are 7.6 billion people on our planet, including you. God cares for each and every one of us. And has given us a wonderful world, our home, with everything we need to thrive. When we respect the earth and each other, there's more than enough for every one of us. Our world is changing. In 2016, 24 million people were displaced due to weather hazards such as storms, extreme heat, and floods. Bangladeshi people are very resilient and they have made huge strides. So all that progress can be under threat. Undo a lot of that really good uh, development work that's gone on. I mean, right now, Bangladesh is undergoing severe flooding. Train lines are cut off, roads are flooded. They estimate millions of people are being displaced by the current flood. I have read numbers as much as 50 million people will be displaced from coastal regions and they're going to have to find somewhere to go and I have no idea where they'll go. The cities can't absorb them, so that's heavy on my mind. Every person you talk to will tell you that things have changed, uh, you know, seasons have changed, the weather has changed, it is not like it used to be. Crops are failing, farmers are committing suicide. In terms of diseases, you know, malaria, which used to be in low-lying areas, is moving uh, to other areas because it's getting warmer. In some of the areas where the villages are prone to flooding because of environmental disasters, we've just raised tube wells so that in case a flood happens, then they still have access to safer drinking water. Or in some of the villages that we have worked in, we have raised the villages or they have raised homes to a higher level so that when the flood waters come, it doesn't inundate their homes. People have built flood shelters in a higher part of the village so that they can run and es escape in these areas. So they live in an environment that puts their well-being at great risk and at threat. So of course I care about that. I care about that. I care about it not only because I love my Bangladeshi neighbor, but I love the creation. It's easy, I think, to be seduced by the idea that, well, they're not close to me. I don't see them, I don't hear them, and so they don't matter, right? They are my neighbors. For me, biblical justice is about right relationships. It's about making the kinds of decisions, passing the kinds of policies, living the kind of a life that allows all of our relationships to be healthy and to flourish for all people. Listen to what they're saying. Talk about what they're saying, not what you believe that they're saying. But hearing from the people is really important. <laughs>